I wanted a simple track plan that I could work prototypically, but also I wanted to have enough operating interest potential to keep me interested in it. Because um, if you get bored with it, you're not going to use it an awful lot. I wanted automatic uncoupling because I'd seen it, I'd seen it on layouts at exhibitions and I thought, you know, that's, that's what I'd like to have. Uh, I didn't like the tension lock couplings that you get on the stock that, you, that the trade produces for you. And I felt I, I always had the confidence that I could achieve a high level of detail, even though I had no actual basis to work on, but I was confident. <laughs> The other things you've got to, I had to consider, and anybody wanting to start off building a layout, especially if, if it's going to be exhibited, is where are you going to set this layout? What era is it going to be? I've said what season it will it represent, because you know, if you want autumn, you're going to have to think about the colours on the trees and so on and so forth. Um, if you want uh, winter, you know, it's going to be a bit drab, maybe, but that has its own beauty. Spring and summer, they're all, they all give a different look to what you do. Was I going to use ready to run items? Or was I going to kit build my items? Was I going to scratch build it? Whether it be stock or buildings or am I going to use a mixture? If I use a mixture how do they all blend together and, and, you get, and how do you get consistency in your approach? Track work. Was it going to be proprietary, hand built? Um, and although I said O double O, uh, four millimeter, yeah, then what gauge? I mean, is it going to be double O, is it going to be EM, P4, or whatever it may be? And couplings. If I want automatic uncoupling, whose couplings am I going to use? Because there are a number of different automatic couplings. So I had to do some research on that and decide whether those sort of couplings could be easily fitted to the stock I was going to build and so on and so forth. It all sounds a bit like you're going to you know, you can drown yourself in research and planning if you're not careful and not actually get down to actually making anything. But I think it's a very important part of the process. You've got, it gives you some clarity to work with. So why much Merkel? When I was growing up and reading magazines as a, as a boy, virtually every layout in the railway modeler in those days was GWR. And most of what the trade produced in double O was GWR loco locos and coaches and rolling stock. Most of which the trade is still making 30 or 40 years on <laughs> in some cases. Um, so I'd accumulated a fair bit of stock. The space available really is to, uh, I would have quite liked to have modelled an actual station. Probably not operated it to the timetable that an actual station would have been, but, but uh, having said that, that's a again a different uh, uh, line to go down. Um, but 12 foot by 2 foot to model a branch line station is quite small. You have to compress things quite a lot. And once you start compressing a known prototype, then it, it, it loses a lot of the feel of that prototype. You can actually, I, th I'm, I, I believe if you're, if you're limited in space, you go for a generic type of approach, which you can make look believable, uh, and nobody can actually criticize you too much for it. Herefordshire, I, want, I was looking for something different to the standard South Devon clay, you know, clay dries or, um, where else they generally go, South Wales with coal or, or where it be. So I was looking for somewhere a little bit different on the GWR system to, to set my layout. And I decided on Herefordshire. And one of the reasons I decided is because I, I wanted an industry at, at one end to hide the, what we call the fiddle yard, which is where all the changes of trains goes on. Um, and I was looking for a different industry other than the standard quarry, clay dries, brewery. And, um, and I just happened to stumble across a picture of Bulmers at Hereford, um, which had a loading dock and there was a, tr a train standing there being loaded and posed photograph, but uh, it was rail connected. And I thought, so it's, yes, ciders, something different. So then it had to be either Hereford or Somerset. Uh, not chose Harry.